All right, so here we have my home-built gas turbine jet engine. This is my pride and joy. I uh, originally built it when I was 14, I think. And uh, we had a slight problem. Um, a misfitting or a malfunctioned hose clamp had jammed up and we thought it was tight here. And this line coming from the compressor blew off and hit me and caused me to be in the hospital for two days. And a lot of nasty burns. Anyway, that has since been fitted with safety wire and lots of hose clamps. And this lovely safety shield, which has actually hurt, caused more damage to me and my dad because we both hit our heads and have nasty cuts on our heads from the corner here. Anyway, so since then, we'll probably show some pictures of what it used to look like. We've added a built-in starting leaf blower system, which I've done cosmetic surgery to reduce the size of it. Uh, we've added an oil cooler here. Looks kind of like a piano. Oil cooler, uh, and we have our oil tank here. It goes up to the hydrodynamic bearing. Actually, it goes to the steering power steering pump here, uh, which then goes to the hydrodynamic bear bearing, and then back into the oil tank. Oil pressure, control panel, oil pump, and uh, oil cooler system here. Igniters. Oh yeah, and we got this cool little butterfly valve system in there that goes to the turbine. And uh, so when we ever when we turn on the leaf blower, it automatically closes itself. And then when the turbine starts up and takes over, it creates more suction, sucks more air in than the leaf blower can supply, and it opens itself back up again. Uh, propane, yeah, propane fuel, yeah, we got kerosene, uh, kerosene fuel tank with car, in-tank car, uh, fuel pump. Uh, this fuel system is going to go though, because hopefully by the end of the day, because we're running, that pump produces about 60 PSI of fuel line pressure, when it gets into this tank it reduces it to between 10 and 20 PSI because of the back pressure from the explosion going, inside, in, going on inside the combustion chamber. Uh, right now we have an agricultural square that we've brought down to I think four one thousandths, uh, to a four one thousandths diameter hole in the agricultural square so we get nice really fine mist. But we're having a fuel supply problem because with the 10 PSI that enters the chamber we can only get so much atomization of the fuel and it doesn't burn correctly so what we're going to do is we're going to take some copper tubing and we're going to run it down the length of the combust combustion chamber and back and then have it point in that way so that when the fuel goes through it'll heat up and it'll turn into fuel vapor and then come out the end as vapor therefore we don't need any kind of overpressured atomization or nothing because what's happening now is we have fuel uh, well we have excess fuel because it's we got improper atomization, but when we tried putting a small, a larger agricultural sprayer in, the fuel shot down the inside the tube and didn't burn, only a little bit of it did, but then it hit this ang this, uh, this 90 degree turn here, and it hit the metal here, and it would, bur and it would uh, burst into vapor basically, and it would ignite on the, uh, the rear turb the turbine blades in here, and then it would it'd burn inside this tube. Uh, that means that uh, the, old, the release of energy from the fuel was going on uh, afterwards of the, uh, of the turbine blades and we weren't getting any power from the excess fuel and uh, the engine was stalling quite a bit. So, uh, what we, uh, so yeah, hopefully that will solve our problem because it runs fine on propane. But propane isn't a nice burning fuel, it kind of burns more aggressively and has a sharper pop to it and it's, it's just, it's, it's not nice, I don't like it. And we got our J-type thermocouple coming back to our exhaust temperature. 
measure exhaust temperature goes from about uh, nothing to probably 1500 degrees in about four seconds. So really gets hot. We put it, we had, we put one thermocouple here, but we actually put it in the wrong spot. So it was overheating and it melted the end of it and we couldn't get it out. So we just left it there. Anyway, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, hopefully I'll have, uh, hopefully I'll have the new fuel system in it later, later on today. That shouldn't be too hard. I got all the materials I need. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start it start it in a little while here and do a video for you of it running because it's pretty damn cool. We had a problem the other day where we the uh, the cooling fan for the radiator overloaded our single power supply down there, our 20 amp power supply, and uh, and so we lost oil pressure and it kind of scared us because. Uh, we had no oil pressure, no cooling, no nothing, and the jet engine was still going because it was running on the propane. And uh, so we nearly trashed the turbocharger. But uh, now we have a second 25 amp power supply that runs the fuel pump and the igniters so so that it eases the load on the fuel pump one, the fuel, I mean the, uh, the oil pump and cooling, because now that's on a separate one. Um, so yeah. I'll start it up now for you. 